Hey guys, welcome to Tactrix Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to get verified on Upwork. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Verification is really important in Upwork because it helps make sure that both freelancers and clients are trustworthy and real. Imagine when you buy something online, you want to be sure it's from a real seller and not a scam. Upwork does the same thing for jobs. When freelancers get verified, it means they've shown they are genuine and skilled. This makes clients feel safer when they're hiring them. For freelancers, verification shows that they are serious professionals who follow the rules of Upwork. They get a special badge that tells clients they're trustworthy. This badge helps freelancers stand out and get better job opportunities. Overall, this verification makes Upwork a safe place for freelancers and as well for clients to work together. It builds trust and lets people know that they can rely on the platform. Just like when you meet someone and you know they're really who they say they are. Verification ensures that everyone on Upwork is who they claim to be. This keeps the freelance world honest and dependable especially in a time where more and more things are happening online. Now to get verified, let's start on logging into your account. So you have the option to put in your username or you can do it with your email or continue with Google or Apple. And then once you're in, the first thing that we'll need to look at is your profile completeness. So we need to make sure that this is at 100%. Having a 100% complete profile on Upwork is really important for getting verified. It shows client that you're serious and skilled. When your profile has all the information like your skills, work history, and examples of your work, clients can trust you more. They can see what you're good at and what you've done before. So this helps them decide if they want to hire you. So having a complete profile makes clients feel confident in you and it's also part of Upwork's way of making sure everyone is honest and trustworthy. So as you can see in here, here are the different options that you can choose. You can add in a portfolio, video introduction, some certification and other experiences. And here's what I did on mine. So I added an employment history, education, a profile photo and overview and skills. And that is why I have attained 100% profile completeness on Upwork. And since there are a lot of options in there, so you'll just need to choose which one you have and then put it in there so that you could complete yours as well. Now let's go ahead and try to see if we're already verified. So I'll just need to click onto your face in there and then click on settings. Once you're in, it will ask you to re-enter your password. So type in your password in there. And then once you're done, you'll just need to click on to continue. So you'll be redirected to the settings page. So you'll just need to scroll down in here. You'll need to find an identity verification. And as you can see onto the page, I've already identified using the three steps, which is ID document verification, location verification, and visual verification. So the next thing that we'll do in here is let's dive in onto those steps on how to do those things to get yours verified as well. So to have a guide and to see also all of the requirements, we'll need to go back onto the dashboard. So once you're in the page, you'll need to scroll down and navigate to Help Center. So you can see it here below the community and forum. So we'll just need to click onto that. And then once you're in the help center page, you'll just need to scroll down and find an account. So let's scroll down in here and then here you can see account. So it has account settings, the service options, and also the identity verification. So once you're in the account page, you'll just need to scroll down and find an identity verification. So you'll see the different options in here to choose from to get your account verified. So we're just going to scheme through all of this so that we could go ahead and check one by one the requirements for this. So let's start off an ID verification for clients. So we'll click onto that and you'll be able to see in here the steps on how to do it. So as you can see, you need to log into your Upwork account, go to settings and identity verification and select the link banner that will display on your Upwork account. Then you will need to provide a government issued ID, complete location verification if needed, and send a selfie or complete video call to confirm your identity. You'll just need to follow those steps. And if you scroll down further, there are some guides as well for that. 
So the next thing that we'll do is visual verification. So this is when you take a selfie to prove you're the same person in your profile. So it's like taking a picture of yourself holding a sign with your name to make sure you're not pretending to be someone else. So as you can see in here, you need to log into your Upwork account, visit the identity verification site, then choose the selfie method, and then you could choose mobile camera or web camera, center your face in the screen, smile to take selfie, and wait for the notification that you're already verified. So just make sure that you followed all of those steps so that it would be successful once you try to verify yourself using the photo verification. Now let's head into another verification method, which is government ID verification. So this process is where you prove your identity by showing an official ID, like a driver's license or passport. So this is like when you show your ID to prove you're old enough to enter a club or buy something that requires an age limit. So in Upwork, it's about proving you're really the person you claim to be. You upload a photo or scan your ID, and Upwork checks it to make sure it's real and matches your profile details. So these steps add an extra layer of trust, showing clients that you're a genuine professional. It's a way to make the Upwork community more secure and dependable for everyone involved. Now, if you scroll down here further, you'll see the documents that are required. So as you can see in here, your ID must include your picture, signature, name, date of birth, and address with the exception of passport, which don't need your address. So here are the examples of the document, passport, national ID, driver's license, NBI clearance, tax ID, voter's ID, or any government issued ID. So on this page, you'll see also a lot of guides on how to do this. So make sure to review all of this so that you would be able to successfully add in your government issued ID as well as you would be verified successfully. So we also have another option in here, which is location plus government ID verification. So it is a way to show where you live and also prove your identity with official documents. So imagine it's like showing your address on a map and also showing your ID to make sure it's really you. Upwork wants to make sure that freelancers are from the place they say they are and that they're real people. So when you do this verification, you're telling Upwork your location and showing a photo or scan of your ID. So this helps clients trust you more because they know you're a true professional from the place you claim to be. So doing this verification can give clients even more confidence in hiring you for their projects. So the process for this is just like the same with the government ID verification. So the only difference that we have in here is you'll need to provide a recent billing statement. So that will be the document that will serve as a proof of your location. So the acceptable documents for this include bank statements, credit card statement, utility bills, or any other monthly bill that meets the name, address, and date criteria above. So it has your name, address, as well as a utility or bank address. And then right after, don't forget to read all through the guidelines on to how to do this so that if you choose this verification, it would go smoothly. So as you can see, Upwork provides the different options to get verified on Upwork and it's really helpful for both freelancers and clients. Imagine it's like having different doors to enter a building. Some people might prefer one door over another. So this makes the process more flexible. So these choices give freelancers a chance to show they're genuine and clients can feel more comfortable hiring them. So it's like finding the best way for everyone to feel safe and confident when working together on Upwork. And since you're equipped already with those information, so you can now also choose which identity verification you prefer. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. And don't forget to get verified.